I began my journey in 2020 by enrolling in the cybersecurity pathway with IT Career Switch. At the time, I was a store manager for Domino's Pizza, and I was looking for a new career with better progression and more salary options. After enrolling, I was given eight courses to study, and whilst working full-time, it took me six months to completely learn the material. In January 2021, I sat my CompTIA A plus exams one and two and achieved my first certification. With this, and the help of IT Career Switch, I landed my first role in IT, which was a three month contract working for the NHS to clear a backlog of tickets. This gave me my first experience working on a service desk, and there was a lot of customer contact involved too. It wasn't long before that contract ended, after which, again with the help of IT Crew Switch, I found my new permanent role for the next two years with an architectural company which had offices throughout the UK. Here, I gained really valuable experience working in a small team of three, covering IT problems on all levels. I became proficient in troubleshooting, on-prem technologies, Azure technologies, uh, analyzing logs and data, as well as identifying impact of change, assessing risk and how to manage those. Whilst in this full-time position, I began my studies on the next four courses, one of which was the CompTIA CISA Plus course. In May 2023, I sat the exam for the CISA Plus and achieved my certification. With this, I found my first position in cybersecurity, which is my current role as cybersecurity operations administrator. The objective of my current role is to provide security advice and perspective on incidents raised from various sources, such as from our security tools, from our customers or employees, and also from our service providers. So a typical day for me starts at about 7 a.m. when I will open my laptop, log into Teams, Outlook, and check our instant queue. This takes up most of my morning, at least an hour or so, just going through those tickets and beginning the process on those, which typically is gathering information. Sometimes tickets can take a while to process just one. That's because all tickets and instance require on-the-spot assessments and to make decisions. For example, we may have had a ticket come through where we've seen excessive sign-ins from a foreign country on a user account. Now I'll begin by looking at the user account as a whole, what their typical sign-ins are, what devices they use and their methodologies of signing in, and also to see if there's any suspicious applications in their history. With that information, I can then provide context on the advice that I give to resolving teams for the next actions. It's also important for me to make decisions such as, can we wait for the owner of the account to give us confirmation on the activity or even their line manager? Or perhaps the activity is suspicious enough that we have to take immediate action to protect the account. My other main responsibility is the vulnerability management process. So here, once I've addressed everything, I'll load up our security tools where I've configured views which allow me to prioritize what remediation work needs to be completed. This will give me assets with higher criticality and also vulnerabilities that could be trending in the world at the moment and need to be addressed more urgently. The rest of my day will be spent in meetings. Some of the regular meetings I have are the daily service review, which is where the service owners from across the organization come together for 30 minutes where we can discuss high priority incidents and everybody can get together to help ensure that the services are running smoothly. Other meetings I have throughout the week are change and also service integration. This is where projects move through the different stages of their life cycle so that we can integrate them with the current services that are running. My typical day varies often. There are always different projects and different questions and different incidents that pop up, which can severely change my workload for the week and where my attention needs to go. 
The cybersecurity pathway has given me all of the help and education that I needed to be effective in my current role. Every day I feel confident in the knowledge that I have and that I provide good advice and opinions when collaborating with my team on the incidents that have come about. Enrolling with IG Career Switch has transformed my life. I would never have imagined that I would be where I am now when I was a store manager back at Domino's. All of the help and advice that I was given by the teams along the way has been so valuable. That's not to say it's been easy. Personally, I found the courses to be very difficult and challenging. However, I think determination and motivation were all I needed to succeed. If you decide to enroll with IT Crew Switch, best of luck.